How's it going everybody? Peter here again for another video. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be talking about selecting an engine for your LS swap. Which one do you choose out of all the options? 4.8, 5.3, 6.0, 6.2. .6 which one do you pick? Which one is going to work with your application? That's what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to give you my opinions in terms of selecting an engine and hopefully this helps you out in your LS swap endeavors. So let's get into it. So in my opinion, when it comes to selecting an engine, I think the first thing that you need to ask yourself is what kind of car are you planning to build? Are you planning to build a boosted car or an all motor car? That in my opinion is going to be the most influential factor. First, let's talk about a boosted application. So when it comes to building a turbo car or a blower car, I think that the best engine is any engine, any LS engine. The reason I think this is because no matter what engine you choose, a 4.8, a 5.3, 6.0, they all make really good power when it comes to boost. Yes, of course, certain engines will be better than others. Obviously, a six liter will make a certain level of power much easier than a 4.8, but that's not to say that you can't still make great power with a 4.8. In my opinion, when it comes to a boosted application, don't focus so much on finding a specific motor saying, I have to find a six liter, I have to find a 5.3, 4.8. I say just Find the best deal you can. Find something that has the lowest mileage. Find something that's in the best condition. And also try to find something that's the most complete. And what I mean by the most complete, try to find something that has as many of the accessories as possible, that has the hardware. Because if you don't, I'm telling you right now, you are going to get nickeled and dimed like crazy. Try to find maybe a smashed truck or maybe a smashed Camaro, Trans Am, something like that. Realistically, in my opinion, I don't think it matters too much about which engine you choose. They're all great for making power with boost. Yes, some are going to be better than others, but just try to focus on finding the best deal and finding something that is the most complete. Now let's switch gears and talk about all motor applications. If you're building something naturally aspirated, I would personally recommend going with an aluminum block motor. That would typically be something from a Corvette, Camaro, a Trans Am. They're typically the engines that have LS in the title. So the LS1, LS2, LS3, you get the idea. But also keep in mind there are some truck motors that also come with aluminum blocks, but they don't make as much power right out of the factory. If I'm not mistaken, don't quote me on this, I believe the Escalade motors usually have aluminum blocks, so that would be a really good option too. Reason. I would recommend if you're going with something aluminum, with an aluminum block, they're about 100 pounds lighter than the iron block. The iron block isn't really beneficial unless you're going with a boosted application. Other than that, I don't really see the point of, you know, building an iron block engine for something all motor. I would also recommend to go for something that is the most complete because again, if you don't, if you're buying all the parts separately, you're just going to get nickeled and dimed on all the little things. So in this case, I would try to find maybe a wrecked Camaro, a wrecked Corvette, something along those lines, because you'll have all the parts you need. You'll have the engine, the transmission, the wiring, the accessories, and overall, you're going to save a lot of money. And you can even sell off some of the parts on the parts car to reduce your, some of your costs. So guys, you have to first determine if you're going to go boosted or NA. If you're going boosted, I would say go for any motor you can find that's in the best condition, that's the best deal and the most complete, because all LS engines can make a lot of power when it comes to boost. But if you're going all motor, I would recommend going for one of the LSX motors in LS1 and LS2, LS3, because they're light, they make a lot of power off the bat. And when you're going all motor, you really need to save as much weight as you can. Also, again, try to find something that's the most complete. Don't try to buy the stuff individually because you're just gonna get nickel and dime like crazy. So guys, I hope that video helps. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like, comment if you have any questions. See you in the next one. Take care.